everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, sorry. Anyway, today we're talking about the Beast and Fam. They made a video about me, and so of course I have to respond to it. That's why they made the video. They weren't looking for me to like run away and hide. Maybe they thought their fans would come to bat for them, but they're new to this because I like when fans come to bat for them. Although they didn't, but I like when they do. We'll check today though to be sure. Um, yeah, they're just really upset that I made fun of them for being child exploiters, so... An easy solution here, everybody. Stop being child exploiters, eh? Holes, <laughs> you dumb asses. Anyway, let's get to it. So, before I get started, this is a new thing. I know I'm going to keep bugging you guys, but please make sure you subscribe. It really helps this channel grow. Hit the little bell, helps this get in the algorithm, helps this word to get out. And I usually don't really care about that stuff because, you know, without growth, my message doesn't really get out there. Plus, at 200,000 subscribers, you get to see all this in its glory in a yellow bikini down a slide somewhere on a cruise somewhere. It's going to be great. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like I'll make it so it cruise and you guys know which one it is. You guys come on the cruise. We'll do some firesides by the pool or whatever. Just don't murder me, all right? Cool? No murder? Murder? Yeah, awesome. Anyway, so the Beast and Bunch or fam or whatever the hell their name is, the fake blondes, <laughs> um, they did a video. I did a video about them a little while ago about their expectation. I'm pretty sure they were the ones. Were they the ones? I can't tell between them and the brother and sister that had their kid hurt. I don't know which one it was. They're the same. They all suck ass. But so, you know, I got obviously 50 messages about this. Hey, look, they made a video about you. You better go talk about it. And before I even look into this, because I blind react to a lot of my videos, um, sometimes I'll look at it for the first few seconds to see if it's worth snarking on. But I'm, I guarantee you in this video, they're going to have a whole bunch of shitty excuses that they're going to open up from the book of family vlogging about dumb things. Okay, so here are the main excuses that family vloggers use before even watching this bullshit, okay? Um, we're not exploiting our kids. That's one of them. They'll just blatantly lie. Another one, they'll say they're not exploiting their kids because if their kid doesn't want to be in a video, they don't want. They don't have to be in the video. If they ever wanted to be out, they're out. They don't have to be. We're always in tune with our kids. Some of them will even go as far as to say they ask their children for consent. I'm not kidding you, okay? Uh, some of the other excuses they use are, we're making memories. You know, this is, we, we, didn't, we didn't set out to be famous. We're just making memories. We, we film all our moments because we don't want to forget these moments. And you know what I'm going to say to that, obviously, right? They all have the same shitty excuses, everybody. Some of them will say, we don't make a lot of money. Um, so, some of them, none of them will ever talk about how much money they make because they know it's a lot of money, okay? But they're all the same shit excuses. So if they use any of those excuses on the bingo card, we're going to win, okay? So let's watch this bullshit. It was like a full hour long video just wrecking us. <laughs> Damn right it was. It's, if it's an hour, man, you got some shit to explain. Because usually about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, if you got an hour one, that's because you're extra shitty with a side of shit. Okay? With a side of cheese. Shit. Good morning, Sunny. Good morning. Stoked that you're here. So, you say hi, everybody. Hi. The video's like 13 minutes long, so it's probably just going to be a whole bunch of shit, family vlogging garbage, and then they're going to talk about it. Right? By the end of today, Sarah, surprisingly, is the only one that hasn't gotten sick, and usually it's the other way around. Why does he have a big-ass fat lip? Did Sarah hit you? Dude, wear a blue shirt next video if you need some help, okay? Why do you have a fat lip? And believe it or not, pretty sure the last time we vlogged, she was at a nail appointment. She's at another nail appointment today. I believe you, dude. Believe it or not. Are you kidding me right now? Believe it or not, she doesn't do shit but get her nails done every day. <laughs> we believe you. You guys don't do anything. Got it. Believe so it I think not. it's safe to say we've made it to the mainland where there's a nail salon on every block. So are they in Hawaii? Aside from us being sick and trying to just get our lives in order, we've got a lot going on still. There's stuff going on with the house that we want to update you. Let's get that one in the old bingo card. We got a lot going on. We're so busy. <laughs> a lot going on. We're so stressed. Our life is hard. We got a lot going on. You don't have a lot going on, buddy. You, this is what you got going on. You film your shitty hair in this video with your shitty furniture. That's what you have going on. You don't have a lot going on. Guys, on some pretty big stuff that actually was a little bit of drama, but hopefully should be getting resolved. And then some other stuff that we recently watched slash found out from some friends that we want to talk about with you guys. We'll get to that though. But right now we're just gonna- Is that me? You talking about me? And she's back Hello. from another... How do you live in Hawaii and wear a sweater all day? <laughs> Are you not sweating your ass half? <laughs> okay, this makes it look like I get my nails done. 
That's because he said last video she was getting her nails done. Now this video getting your nails done. You do get your nails done, asshole. All the time. She does. I literally booked my next appointment for four weeks. I'm just kidding. Oh my God, four weeks? Are you going to be okay there? <laughs> four weeks till you get your nails done. Oh my God, your life. Yes, queen. And this was the, four second, weeks this was the next time she got her nails done from the last time. You want to see him? Whoa. No, those look like shit. Oh, pretty. There. That's the worst color in the world. So now we're trying to decide if we want them to change. We know we want the stucco to be white, but we're trying to figure out if we want the vertical siding to be that tannish kind of cream color with the white. Because I think it could be kind of cool with the stone. Yeah. Oh my God, your problems are so hard to hear. I just, I'm crying with you. I'm crying. <laughs> You're tan siding on your million dollar house you bought from exploiting your family. Like, I just, I get it. Yes, queen, slay. Slay that. These people! We're gonna go up and look. What's the verdict? I think I wanna keep it. So... That looks white to me. That cream. Yeah. You got it. And then this white. Get a wind thing. Get a dead cat, assholes. Wow, oh, maybe you should move your hand so it can focus, a hole. That cream. Okay, because you're saying this has both colors in it. That shit's white. So we're gonna keep it this color. Look at this house. We made it back. Let us know you did. You? Thanks for telling us, buddy. Appreciate it. Well, here we are. Made it back. We got that. Why do you say shit like that? You guys wonder why I make fun of you? Listen to the. You guys go watch that from a perspective of somebody who doesn't like you. Okay, just, just sit down when you're done editing this and be like, oh my God, we suck. Every single family vlogger, every one of them does this. They t walk you through their new house build because it's content. Look at us, look at us building this brand new house. I know you can't afford groceries. I get that. Eggs are too expensive. You can't even get lettuce. We understand. But look at our new mansion. Yay for us. F off. Dumbasses. You guys' thoughts on the colors of the house, if you guys like the cream. Why do you give a shit what strangers care about you? Why do you care? With the white, or if it should be all white. Kids are- I wanna know why you got felt lip. Grandma right now. It's kind of a gloom and doom type day right now, so we're gonna we're gonna chill inside. So basically Wait, I got this. No, part. I got I got this part. Basically, I have been trying to get our stuff organized since we got here about a month ago. You think? Great job. Maybe you don't get your nails done. Why don't you do some shit instead? You guys literally don't have a job. There's nothing that you do except take care of your children and film your life. There is nothing stopping you from getting the things done. If I had the same amount of time you guys had, holy shit, the things I would get done. Okay? There is nothing stopping you from doing the thing except your lazy assholes. It's impossible. No, it's not. But I just never have to. It isn't impossible. Because you don't do anything. Do it because we do work and then there's kids and then I have like maybe. What work? What are you saying work? What work? 30 minutes a day where I'm like actually doing it. <laughs> yeah. Our stuff is literally. Lecaturally, explain this to me because you guys are obviously watching this because it's my response to you. Tell me what you do for work. Please. Please tell us what you do. Do Instagram live, whatever. Make a post. Here's what we do for work. What do you mean do for work? Like I know this is a job because you get paid to do it. I can I can say that I get paid to do it too. You're not working though, okay? Do you mean like editing, filming? Like tell me the work, please. I need to, I need to know. That's got to go in the bingo card. We're working hard. Didn't I say at the beginning? I don't know. Well, it's on the bingo card now. All over the downstairs. And like, to make matters worse, it's not our own place. Good thing my parents don't go downstairs. It's fine for now, but I'm losing my mind because, like, you've heard me say, like, I hate living out of suitcases for a long time. Now we're living out of boxes. Like, oh, oh my god. Let's get them put away. But I realized that once we get them put away. This is your parents' basement? Holy shit. We might be moving into a different place in like- You guys are probably really confused. Nah, that shit's gonna be delayed now because you're getting the chain shit, so. Closing date's been shifted about a month because you gotta bring those trades back. Those guys are gonna be pissed that they tear all that down. Someone's gonna waste 50 grand in material because they made a mistake. Someone's gonna get fired. You're gonna bring back the trades. They're gonna do a shitty job because they have to take all that off the off your outside your house, which leaves, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of holes. They're gonna redo it. They're gonna love it. And your shit's gonna be delayed. It's like, where are you living? What are you doing? We moved from Hawaii. We live in Utah now. Oh. We are building oh. a house here. It won't be done till September or October. Uh. So in the meantime. All right, everybody. Story time. All right, you ready for this? 
I'm drinking a lot of water because oh, you should anyway, but also because I have to drink a ton of water because I went into the hospital on Monday for my procedure. Okay. So long story short, I got a six millimeter kidney stone stuck in my kidney and right before it gets to the urethra. And if I play sports or something, I, I'm like, I'm peeing blood after I play sports. What is going on? Nobody can figure it out. I went to, to the clinic where my doctor, and I have the best doctor in the world, by the way, I'm not going to tell you her name. She is the best doctor I've ever had, probably in the city, has the highest ratings, is the best doctor, hands down, I've ever had. Okay? She's great. Anyway, she wasn't in that day, so I got the nurse practitioner, or another doctor. I don't know. This, do this doctor's like, okay, it looks like I'm going to treat you for an STI. I'm like, an STI? Why? She's like, well, I was going to treat for everything. I promise you, lady, my wife and I are the only partners either of us have ever had. I, it's not an STI, so I'd rather not. And so anyway, she made me, tr she treated it for an STI because she never knows. She's, she, she, I think the doctors just assume you're lying. Okay. Well, we're not lying. And I didn't have an STI. Obviously the meds that she gave me for it to treat this, whatever it was, made me lactose intolerant. So I'm pissed about that because I went to the pharmacist in Ontario. Now you can, your pharmacist can like give you med. They can diagnose you with certain things. I said, look. I, for some reason, can't drink milk anymore. And he's like, did you happen to take this specific medicine? And I looked, I'm like, yes. He's like, that makes you lactose intolerant. For, and I said, for how long? He's like, forever. You're basically done. So every time I eat cheese or drink milk or something that I love, okay, the cramps are insane, man. Like I, and I, I now have to take the, the lactose pills. So she treated me for something I didn't have. Okay. Because my scan, when I did a scan before came back with, they couldn't see it. And here's what my urologist said. He's like, I got to stick a camera up your dink. I got to inflate it with water in there. And then I'm going to go look around and see if there's anything. He does that. That was very painful by the way. Okay. And I'm like sitting there dick to the wind. There's two student nurses in the room. Like, why are you even in here? Okay. Why are you even in here? They didn't do anything. So he comes in and does his thing and he's like, yeah, it looks good. See ya. Nothing in there. I'm like, great. And then he just left. He's starting to talking to me. While my, my shit's just hanging in the wind and the nurses strike not conversation I'm like, can I put this back over? <laughs> like it was so awkward. Anyway, whatever. So my wife laughed at that because she's a nurse, right? So anyway, that wasn't it. Okay, nothing wrong with that. That's good. Means that there's like nothing he could see this cancerous or something, right? The worst the worst case scenario is cancer, right? So anyway, I go get a different uh, x-ray, like an MRI machine where they stick you in this big thing and they, and they do all the craziness. And then I get to the office two weeks later. He's like, here it is shows me a six millimeter kidney stone. That's a quarter inch. Okay. Everybody that's like, how, how do you know how you say six millimeters? Like, do I have a ruler here? I don't think I have a ruler anywhere, but it's, you know what six millimeters is. It's a big ass stone stuck in my kidney. So that's why I've been bleeding. That's why I've had pain and discomfort and everything else. It's not like my other kidney stones. Cause if you ever had a kidney stone, especially as a male, you can feel it at the tip of your wiener. It feels like you have to pee but there's also pain and then the pain comes and you are out for the count. If you don't get those butt pills in fast enough, you're, you have to go to the hospital and get the lauded. Okay. Or call an ambulance. That's how bad the pain is. But this one, I had pain when I was driving from Ottawa, I stopped into the Kingston thing. Remember that? That's when this all started. So it's been stuck in there for months. So anyway, go to the hospital yesterday. They put me down and I'm like out cold and they blast it with sound. And apparently it's, I don't know if it's gone yet, but I've been drinking so much water and peeing so much. And I have this little cup that catches everything so far, nothing. But she said that it might've pulverized it in the sand. So you might, might not see anything. So I hate kidney stones. And I also hate the fact that doctors don't trust people, but I can't also can't really blame them, but now I'm lactose intolerant and I had kidney stone. Awesome. That's my story, so let's continue. Time we are staying with Sarah's parents. We might rent something else if something becomes available. Until our place. Why would you rent something else? This is, why? Hmm, you got beef? It's done. They don't like you, that's why. In September or October. So I'm gonna get all of everything organized and then we're gonna move it to another place. That's why. Anyway. Why? You didn't why are you not explaining that? Why do you have to leave? Very telling. Why the why are the in-laws kicking you out? Hmm. Interesting. You guys can check out where we're living. It's very embarrassing. Do the most rapid tour ever of where we're living. Okay, this is Sarah's parents' house. Whee! Okay. Oh, there's laundry. That's a huge house. Right in there. Oh yeah, this is our laundry. Oh wow. Wow, you guys are normal. That's all I'm gonna say. To that. That's normal. Oh. You guys know I don't really shade a lot of people for their. Do you? Talking to dozen, that's a little bit abnormal. Their place is disgusting. But if you have like toys and laundry around, that is normal. Never gonna. I actually appreciate when family vloggers do this. 
that they're not fake about real life. Gosh. These people are going to think that we're just slobs. No, I just don't like it when your house is like nasty. You know what I mean? Oh, we just moved here. We're not slobs. We just moved here a month ago. And we we have take two any. kids. You've been there for a month. We're sick. We're trying to. It's hard. It takes people a long Derek's time. Derek's the king of excuses. I'm not making excuses. <laughs> this is our take downstairs. <laughs> this actually makes me mad. You know what? Oh my god. Like, I think okay, a lot. that's a little much. People might appreciate this because I mean that's a bit much. I wouldn't. That's not how I. Okay, like we have toys and shit around. We pick up, you know, and do dishes and everything. But that's a bit I much. I agree. That's a bit much. Well, then you think no, that this, have a hard time putting stuff. This away. actually makes me mad. Okay. Okay. Well, I take it back. That you guys are living in squalor. <laughs> okay. I like I consider my house pretty messy. If you walked in, it's like, oh yeah, it's messy. Toys and there's water bottles and cat freaking cat food tins because Westy was making towers. I get that, but it's not like nasty. That's nasty. Well, this is everything Holy from Hawaii. Shit. Bye. We just moved from Hawaii. What, what's Four it gonna look? Like? You took an air hockey table with yeah. you? Yeah. Four this weeks ago. Here. Imagine. Okay, dude, you just need to take the L on this one, dude. She's saying we are disgusting. You're just gonna be like, you know what? We are. We got the L on this. We're gross. If we didn't have kids. Because it's... Yeah, what do you mean if you don't have kids? Everybody has kids. We can do that. You don't have a job. That's the thing. We don't have a real job. You don't have a job. So don't be gone. I don't even know if I can do this tour. <laughs> I'm just ticked. <laughs> no wonder they want you to leave. There's bugs now. That's... Hawaiian bugs. That's that. Let me come down here. Stuff my... Big ass house. Don't need it. Our bathroom trash. Oh my god. Like, what? I don't get... Okay, so you're saying we're trying to unpack, but you, it looked like you unpacked everything to the floor. Why don't you just leave it in the box if you're out of boxes? Just leave it in the box, then. I don't understand. What are you doing? Oh. See, I'm judging you now. I, I'm judging you for that. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, you should have all your stuff put away after no. being there for... Not necessarily. You could have just kept shit in boxes because you knew you were building a house, right? Just keep things in boxes. You don't need everything out of boxes. It looks like you just dumped boxes everywhere. That, that, that's not helpful. Two weeks or this is normal. You think everything should be already cleaned by now. Probably within the first five days, yeah. For Agreed. Okay. Five days might be a little fast, but it's no, no, no. Just don't unpack any of the boxes. Just just necessities. No wonder your parents want you gone. We're gonna get it done. No, you're not. Have some good old Doctor Phil. You're absolutely not gonna get it done. Some good old Doctor Phil. Yeah. You guys didn't know this about Sarah. She's like the biggest Doctor Phil fan in the world. So okay, you're not gonna. Where are your kids now? You guys are telling me you can't do it because you have kids, but yet you're walking around without any kids right now, and you're gonna sit down and watch Doctor Phil. Maybe take this opportunity to clean your shit. I'm angry because of kidney stones, all right? I missed the opportunity to go to one of his shows. When is it done? He's done. He's done now. So. Good. Dr. Phil's a dish. One thing I mentioned earlier that we really wanted to uh, right. talk about. How do we How do we say it? How do we start? Well, this? basically, we were seeing John Wick 4, and <laughs> that's, that's how the story starts. So you get to go see movies, like John Wick 4. You're going to watch, sit down here, and make vlogs. Where are your children? You have this moment without your kids and you're not going to clean the thing that you said you need to do the most? <laughs> in theaters. Um, in theaters, Derek's friend texted him a video that was about us that someone had made on YouTube. It was, it was like a full hour long video just wrecking us. <laughs> like literally this guy. That's some good old wreckage. No, this yeah, it is. guy though, he... I sure... You know what the funniest part about this is I have had very large family vloggers where I've reached out to them, they've reached out to me, and I'll just reach out to them because I do. I'm like, hey, you guys are dinks. Just I want to remind them once in a while they're dinks, right? And some of them respond. They love watching my show, especially if I talk about them. They love it. Not because it brings them anything, because they think it's hilarious. Remember Brampty? They, did, they watched my roast and they laughed until it got a little bit serious and they didn't laugh anymore. Okay, I know uh, lots of people watch my roasts of them and they love them. So it's not really what I'm meant. I'm trying to make fun of you. So it's, but I'm glad you like it. Not something like a chip on his shoulder or something. And it was so funny because he was going on and on, obviously saying we were the worst parents ever. Not the worst ever, but you're in the, you know, the group of the worst. Like if there was like a football team and you guys were on the team with the other ones, you guys be called the worst parents ever. That's th that's what I'd call that team. Um, saying that we exploit our children. Just like, that, that, no. Yeah. 
Yes, that, I think I probably said that. But you do explore your children. You're gonna say you don't? Literally, like, he like made one about our brother and sister-in-law too. He even commented on like our appearances, like saying, oh, you got horse hair and the- I said hay hair. Hay hair? I said hay hair. Cause you dye your shit to the point where it's burnt. And because I will make fun of you because you deserve it. Hey, hair. <laughs> like, he was just. Like, I just say horse hair. Okay, I said hey, hair. He's just. Out of this world. He's like, angry. You guys know you were laughing, though, right? And he's it's mad. so funny because he's like, these people are using their kids and other people as clickbait. And Why are you making so many cuts? Literally, the title of his video is a clickbait about me crying. The truth about Beast and Fam cries when she's confronted with the truth. That's true. That's not clickbait. The whole video, you were crying, and it wasn't an hour, it was 49 minutes. Liars. You were crying. They went on the Trash and Scabby podcast and she was crying because they were talking about the exploitation of children and she got super upset because she was being called on it and she was crying. So that's not clickbait. That's absolutely the truth, you damned liar. Like saying that she cried when she was confronted, confronted with, with the, the truth. truth. Anyway, should we go look at it? I'm literally like, tearing up right now. <laughs> there you go. She's. I'm like, I'm literally like, tearing up. You are admitting that you're called out for your behavior of explaining children, and you then cried about it. What part of that is clickbait? Damn liar. It's just crazy to me because it all started because we were on one of our friends' podcasts, Matt and Abby. They, Trash and Scabby. They asked us the question, like, how we feel about showing our kids on social media, and it's a really hard thing for us. Stop cutting so much! We've talked about it a ton. It's freaking hard. Because... <laughs> it's hard to explode our kids and get called out for it. It's what? Are you kidding me right now? If it's so hard, the then that means the answer is easy. That means that you know what you're doing is wrong. And you should stop if it's so difficult. What don't you understand about that? You're the ones admitting it. Dumbasses. Just you know, some creators have chosen to completely not show their children at all. Good and for them. I totally respect that yeah. and I get it. And like, I, I fully understand why they do that. Can he say a thing or no? No, he's not. Okay, cool. And like this guy is wrong, but he's not wrong to be upset about people exploiting their kids. I get it. There's some. What do you mean I'm wrong? How do you say in the same sentence he's wrong, but he's not wrong to be upset about exploitation of children? You do the thing or I wouldn't be talking about you. You do that, man. Bad stuff out there. Well, and and there's wrong. like some people that are truly like, but like let him say a phrase. Meeting children. And I feel like we started this channel to huh. be our family channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we love showing our lives and our kids are our lives. Like you asshole. Again, saying the same stupid shit. We started this channel to make money. Stop lying. Why do you lie? Don't, we wanted to share our family with who? With strangers? You know, see how dumb that sounds? You know how creepy and weird that is? How abnormal it is to say, we started this public channel to share our lives with absolute strangers to build parasocial relationships with us and our kids and predators online. Do you not understand what's coming out of your face hole? Do you really not get it? That's just kind of how it is right now. We love our kids to death. I think it just Why does it have to be that? What do you mean it's kind of way it is right now? It doesn't have to be. You do not have to exploit your children. You don't have to do it. And you're saying we have to do it. Why? So you can get into your $1 million house that you're building that got built wrong? Is that why you have to do it? Because you don't want to go get real jobs? Is that why? So you can go get your nails did every three weeks and then not have time to clean your house except you have time to watch TV? Is that what you mean? You do not have to exploit your children. Between being a good parent and a not good parent, one of the things that stands in your way, because I'm sure you do love your children, is that you exploit them and their privacy online without their informed consent for all the world to see. And you do it for money. That's what's stopping you guys from being good people. And I know you hate to hear it. People hate being called out on their bullshit, especially by somebody who has an argument that is almost impossible to refute because what you're doing is abuse okay it's not physical abuse okay I, i'm sure you do love your children but you are not doing right by your kids especially knowing what we now know about the internet and where it's gone and what's going on in the predators and the ai and everything else you know it's dangerous for your children to be on here and yet you choose money over their safety every single fucking day and you're sitting here thinking, well, we have to do it. 
That's because you suck ass as parents that you feel the only thing you can do is exploit your kids to make money. That should make you feel bad. And you don't like to hear it. So I get it. Yeah, we started this vlog to exploit our family for cash. Got it. The fact that I can go back and look at videos from when Jack was a baby. There's the bingo one. All there and it's oh, like our family home videos for us. Oh, yeah. they're your family home videos. How many people have you heard say this exact phrase? How many? Every single family vlogger who has been called out for exploitation and who has answered it or tried to has said this exact thing to some degree. These are our family videos. It's not our fault we went viral and made millions of dollars on them. <laughs> it's not our fault. Listen, dumbass, you know you don't have to share it with millions of people, right? You know there's a thing called private accounts. You can share it within an email. You can have your own internal server. You can buy a portable hard drive, right, that sits right there. And you can connect that. And people from your family can access it, right? There's cloud that exists. You can put on Instagram on a private account, Facebook private account, Stop using this excuse to say we're just doing it for, for memories because that's stupid and you look dumb and sound dumb because you are dumb. I hate this excuse because it assumes that we're all stupid. Yeah, for but sure. But to see this guy just completely wrecking us for an entire hour. Watch 49 minutes. Watching our video, picking it apart about what we were saying. And I, I got tears in my eyes because... I Did you cry again? <laughs> Should I clickbait this one? Beast and girl cries because I called her out again. I truly feel like I love my kids more than anything in the world. So when people comment that we're exploiting our kids and that we should be in jail and all this stuff, those comments. Did I say she should be in jail? It's really hurt me. And Good. That's why I cried that he used that as like the title of it. That's because it's what you did! Video, which is crazy. Yeah. Why is that crazy? Oh my God, we're taking crazy pills. The truth about the Beast and Fam cries when she is confronted with the truth. The truth being that you exploit your children, okay, and you do, and you're be and you're you're, you're at, you are responding to that confrontation. You are you are you are responding to the allegation, and you're crying because of it. That's not clickbait, asshole. That's exactly what you did. F your gaslighting. Honestly, like to each their own. I feel like there's a lot of people who won't show their kids and I yeah. totally respect that. Idea. Yeah, respect to those people. Mad respect to those people. Those people deserve respect. Those who, who do share their children, who do exploit their children for cash, who do need their kids to make money on their channels, you don't get respect. There's not like, oh, kudos to you. You took a path, you took a different path. No, you took the wrong path. You took the path of exploitation and abuse. I'm sorry, that's wrong. There's no other but after this. That's totally fine. For how many people like of guys like that that are out there, I get hundreds of messages saying, I love watching yes, your family. Queen. You guys are gas yes, queen. And you don't find this a little bit weird? You're such a positive fun okay more than me i get that now exactly and i get way more positive comments i get negative comments anyway yes you do but if it didn't bother you why are you sitting here with that fake smile on your fat lip okay it does bother you because i'm speaking truth to you guys because no matter what you believe i know that they're believers in jesus to some degree either they're mormon or not i don't know okay to some degree what i said resonated with them enough that they had to sit down and address it Okay, I resonate, even though I can be very mean and it might see a lot of a lot of people will say this, that because I'm angry and I make fun of their hay hair or whatever, or his ugly face, whatever, right? They're like, that takes away from the message. That's fine. I'm a snark channel. Sometimes it can be super dead serious. Sometimes I can be snarky. Sometimes a little bit mix of both. And that's kind of like, I kind of land in the middle a lot, especially on shit like this. Okay. But what I said obviously resonated with you, obviously. And so because I think there's some inherent goodness in you guys, because I do believe that you believe in Jesus or whatever to some degree. I do think you love your kids. I do think that you, 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 I don't think that you're terrible people. I think that you chose the wrong path by exploiting them on the internet, their privacy and everything for everybody to watch, especially predators. Considering what we've seen with AI, I'm telling you, you are putting your kids at risk. It might not ever happen. But what happens when one of these family vloggers kids ends up on an AI porn site? Okay, what happens then? It is going to be too f***ing late for you. This has already happened to adult YouTubers and, and Twitch stars out there. Their stuff is being shared as AI porn is being downloaded and bought for millions of eyes to watch against their consent. It's too late now. The internet is forever. 
When your kid gets out there and has parasocial relationship developed with predators online, they are going to create that stuff and they're going to sell it to others. And it's going to exist on the internet, which is forever. And what happens if it's one of your kids? They will live with that choice that you made for the rest of their lives. They didn't get to choose that path. Not only that, you probably do meet and greets at VidCons and shit like that. How do you know that people don't know where you live and are just monitoring you? Look at Ava Madri. The guy came to their door and blew their freaking door off with a shotgun. Thank God her dad was there to help the family. I'm telling you what you're doing is dangerous. And when you bring kids into this world, it's even more dangerous. So shut your hole or refute it properly. Give me an argument that where I can be like, okay, you're right. There is no argument that exists in this world right now because if there were, there would not be laws in almost every single state and country being made against what you're doing. If you were doing right, what's right and moral, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Lots of people are talking about this. You're wrong and you hate to admit it. That's fine because you're narcissistic assholes. But if you are Christian and you say you are, have a little humility. Guys, literally make my day watching your videos. We love seeing like how happy you are and like you guys as parents and you're... That doesn't... Again, do you guys not see the red flag here? You don't see the red flag that you're even saying yourself. We get so many thousands of comments commenting on our family that we will never know these strangers ever. I don't know who they are. I never will know them. They could live next to me. They could be predators down the street. They could be stalking us. I don't know. But I love you guys out there. We love your comments. Do you not see? If it was just you, fine. Okay, you're adults. You can take care of yourself. Your kids are in this now. Do you not see now that your comment right there, but we get so many comments, but I thought you were just doing this for memories. These are your memory videos. So why do you give a shit about the comments? Do you hear it now? Do you understand how stupid you are? You understand well now why I covered you and now why I'll continue to do it? Your cute kids and whatever, those messages mean the world to us. And yeah. Yo, I think there's a lot of people, and if you're one watching this, I think there's a lot of you that actually really, really enjoy seeing what we're kind of doing as a family. That. What are you kind of doing as a family? Let's recap what you guys do as a family. Cool. Should we take a look at it? Our toddler meets his baby sister. Having the live birth of our baby girl, birthing a child. Remember, the laws for child labor are that kids can't even be in paid content for 15 days. Don't forget that little federal law, everybody, by the way. One day that's going to come back to haunt all these people, and I hope it does. Official gender reveal. Finding out I'm pregnant. Baby girl's finally coming. This is what you're kind of putting out there. The same tripe as everybody else doing the same exact bullshit. The same shit, only more boring. I didn't think there were more boring people than the Beastons. The other Beastons. The other other Beastons, okay? And I think I found them. You're not funny at all. There's, no, there's nothing here. You guys have zero personality whatsoever. Okay, your shit's messy all the time. You wear nothing but beige and shit. You get your nails done and then you go out. What else do you do? Your top videos. Sonny's first Christmas. It's all about your child, dude. Your top videos all the way up to like now. All about your child. Your lowest video. Let's go see your lowest video. Ready? Lowest watch video two years ago. 21,000. We got attacked by a swarm of bees. Forcing my husband to watch The Bachelor. Derek's perfect day in Hawaii. Sarah forgot... Almost goes into labor. I'm surprised I didn't get more. Right? Nobody gives a shit about you guys until you got pregnant. You get pregnant, all of a sudden your shit explodes. Everything that you do on this channel is because you have children. Because hear me out, blondies. You're boring. Your content sucks. But because you exploit your children, you found success. Just admit it. But you don't want to admit it. All this is really meant to be. I mean, we're pretty transparent about what's going on in our lives. Yeah. Um, and you know what else is funny? Is one, he has no idea what he's talking about. He, he wants to continue on and stop talking about me. Like, I, <laughs> he's kind of done. He's like, I don't want to keep talking. She's like, no, I'm not done. Okay? I'm not done. <laughs> no. All this is really meant to be. I mean, we're pretty transparent about what's going on in our lives. Yeah. Um, and you know what else is funny? Uh, yeah. Is you know? one, he has no idea what he's talking about. But two, oh. he literally was like, these people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. And literally like threw that out. Look at your like, That is news to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's like, dope. Yes, this is our job, but there he you go. is so off. And for us. Okay. So she says I'm off. Fine. Okay. So she's right. They don't make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Just on YouTube, it's the only thing I'm looking at because it's the only thing I'm pretty confident I know 
about what they make. Now, they do a lot of shorts, which get millions of views, okay? They get massively millions of views on their shorts. Shorts don't make you a ton of money. I have one short that has 500 and 600,000 hits. It's me making a smash burger. It's my biggest video. I made $60 on that video, okay? It's not a lot of money for millions of views. So the shorts don't make them a ton, but they make, let's say each, let's say this 2.7 uh, million view one, that probably made them 200 bucks, okay? And they do that. So they're make, making thousands just on shorts. But I did a count of their last month's count, and it was roughly between 4.5 thousand and 6.2 million views on their long form videos, which pays them the most. Okay, I did a count of everything. Okay, their biggest one being, uh, their biggest one in the last month being about 668 thousand. Okay, and I counted around 5 million views. So yes, they don't make hundreds of thousands on YouTube. They make between 50 and $75,000 a month USD on just YouTube. That has nothing to do with their TikTok. It has nothing to do with their Instagrams. And they both have very large Instagrams. It has nothing to do if they ever do an ad read or anything, or if they do something on their Instagram, which I don't know if they do. So yes, I will, I am corrected. They do not make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, but they make 50 to $75,000 a month. Handily, very easily. So, sorry, but still, most people would kill for that kind of paycheck. Personally, if Jack doesn't want to be filmed, he we don't film. film. Bingo. Our toddler, he's two years old, and he does tell us what he wants to do and what he doesn't want to do. The second Jack comes to us and says, I don't want to be in a video, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't like goes the camera. Off, obviously, yeah. we want to be the best parents we can. Worst. You f***ing dumbasses, okay. We've heard this from every single family vlogger. I said at the beginning of the video, it's definitely on the bingo. It's probably the free space on bingo card, okay? If he doesn't want to be in a video, it doesn't have to be. Okay, great. Would you like a cookie or a f***ing trophy or something? Are you missing the whole point of informed consent? You're not understanding this, right? You're, you don't get this? You don't understand? We're talking about your channel, hundreds of videos of your child on there. The most popular videos in your channel are with your children, Okay. They do, they cannot give you consent. They're two anyway. This person, you're saying a two year old saying, mom, I don't want to be camera today. F off. That doesn't matter. Your child can say, I love this. But what happens when they're 18, 20, whatever, living their own life. And they've got all this on the internet about them, everything. And I'm not saying they will, but there are channels out there with so much embarrassing shit about their children on there. It will blow your mind and they will stop at nothing to do that. Okay. Your kids can't consent to the future you're giving them. He, it's always the default to keep your kids safe. That's why everybody's having this conversation right now about not giving your kids social media, about not giving them access to the internet and phones and everything else, okay? Because a digital footprint is gonna be the most expensive thing to hide when our kids become older, okay? And I didn't realize this until a year and a half ago either, okay? So we're all kind of new to this, but it is true. So your kid doesn't wanna be in video today, so you're like, okay, I won't film you. You're such good parents. No, asshole. We're talking about the whole thing. The hundreds of hours that you filmed and put on the internet for everybody. The, the pranks. The shit your kids do. Everything that you put on the internet that is inappropriate. That is compounded as their digital footprint that will likely be there forever. You will not have control over it, especially when predators get a hold of it. You idiots. Stop saying this excuse because it makes you look even worse and more dumb than you already do. Okay? Simply just showing our lives and trying to be as real as possible with it. And people like that. And so you're not real. And that's another thing. They all say it's, we're so real and raw. Are you real and raw? Has anybody ever just put a camera on themselves or been at a party and someone's going around with a camera? What happens? Right. You've been trying to get on a camera and do you be yourself. You know, some people are, can be unapologetically themselves. I am this way. A hundred percent. I'm actually holding back quite a bit. Okay, because I could be a lot more mean. I should, but I'm not. Okay, but everybody is different when the camera's turned on. We've heard this time and time again from every single family vlogger kid who has ever done anything that has revealed what it's like to be like behind the camera. They are different when the camera's on. They are somebody else when the camera's off. That is always the case. That is human nature. Proof in the pudding. Whenever you look at a photo of yourselves and your friends, who do you look for first? You. That's the way it is. So when a camera's on you, you're a different person. So I'm telling you, you're not doing anything authentic. You're faking it for the camera because we know you're faking it for the camera. Because we're not fucking stupid. That makes us want to continue to share with you guys. Yeah, so. we think that there's a lot more positive coming than negative. And yeah. So list, list the shit. So, so far, the only positive things you listed is that people like watching our family. 
What else? I mean, the money that you make, that's a positive for you. Okay, cool. So you make a ton of money and you get nice comments from people and people say they like it. That's two. That's only two. But the negatives far outweigh the positives as far as I'm concerned, as far as everybody's concerned who's a parent, who should be a concerned parent. The shit that you put your kids, the danger you put your kids in, especially for their privacy and everything else, far away all that shit. And none of them realize it until later, until they're all broke and shit and their kids don't want to be around them anymore. Their kids are like, I'm going no contact. I don't like you. They sue them. That's all coming down the pike, everybody. So, oh, so we're going to continue to do this because we get good comments and we make a lot of fucking money. And they didn't even admit the money part. There's always going to be a bitter guy. Anybody who's I'm a bitter guy. You know what? Okay, I'm bitter. You know why I'm bitter? It's because I cannot believe people exist like you who think that you're good parents. I'm bitter because there are people yas queening you in your comments and not seeing it yet. There are people who are waking up. I'm bitter because you guys are so stupid and you influence others to think that this is okay. And it's not okay. So yeah, I'm a little bit bitter. I'm a little bit angry. I'm a little bit upset. But I think a lot of people are. I think everybody is seeing this and those who don't you know the dangers, and yet you continue to put your kids in this shit. That makes you bad people in general. And you don't want to hear it. And I'm sure she's going to cry for me saying this shit. But listen here, whatever your face is, hey hair, you suck ass. This channel is dedicated to ripping people apart. I think that there's something wrong with you. And I straight up say that because it fucks what people tears me up so bad oh, does it? his entire channel is taking different people <laughs> yeah. and ripping them apart i'm like dude what is your life yeah okay i'm gonna call her horse hair from now on what people do i rip apart on my channel what people you're getting close what people child exploiters those people those are the people that i'm rude to that i tear to shreds you deserve it you deserve it and more. I could be way worse and I should be. You deserve it for what you are doing. So those people, and Oliver's like, he just tears down moms. That's it. He only hates moms. That's what people say. I hate people. I don't hate them. I don't hate these people either. But I don't like people who exploit children and think it's okay. And you deserve it. That people, they always, they never say that. They never give the descriptor of the people. It's just random people. I just find some randos and I roast them. That'd be fun too, though. It just is like, okay, share your opinion, fine, but don't be a douche. I don't know. He's straight up just a douchebag. That was. He's like, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> well, I might be a douche, but you guys are worse douches. Okay, so let's let's compare the two people. The people who exploit their children, kids who have no idea how to consent, who have parasocial relationships with strangers online, predators, likely making content about them and everything else. Just making strange, and there's probably comments made about your kids and everything else. Compared to me, who is trying to be the voice for these kids who don't have that voice, I'll take it. If that makes me a douche, douche. Douche dad of the day. Okay? But you guys... You're just upset because I called you out in a way that you can't refute. And your debate or your argument was the same shit you said on Twat and Scabby's podcast. It's the same bullshit. Either have an answer for these questions, okay? Let's make it simple. Answer these questions. Is your kid's privacy important to you? Okay? And if you say yes, then you wouldn't do what you do. So that's, we've got that answer, okay? Okay. Is your kid's digital footprint and the future of what is going to be on the internet important to you or to your kids? If you say yes to that, then you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. If you took your children off of your content, would your content survive? Just answer those three questions, please, in a video or come on my show, whatever. Cool, I'll be nice. Okay, answer those questions. Is it okay to exploit children without their informed consent? You have yet to answer any of these questions. You just reiterated everything. Instead, you called me a douche. It's fine. I could be douchey. I'll give you that. Rough. And what made me more mad is... <laughs> He's trying to shut her down. And she's like, okay, I'm, I'm not done. He made one about her brother and sister-in-law too. And he was so rude. Literally saying mm -hmm. that their kids should get taken away. And they're such good parents. And we can 100% acknowledge that there are some sketchy people on the internet. Yeah, your brother and sister are sketchy. Um... Excuse me. They left their kids. I think that's a brother sister. Didn't they have it like four days before they took their kid to a, with a broken arm to the thing and filmed it all? Yeah. Sorry. That makes them shitty too. Like I get that you're they're your brother and sister in blood. You got to stand up for them, but that's the wrong angle, dumbass. <laughs>
we really try to take that into consideration. But it's like, I guess no, I you don't. want... To- Can he say a word, Hair? No, like, is the solution to never, ever, ever have a child ever shown ever again? That means you take kids out of movies, you take kids from everything. <sighs> Fucking bingo card. There it is again. Damn bingo card. Like, uh-huh. commercials? There's commercials with babies? It just says, I don't know what... And again, I think... Oh my god, the same damn argument you said on Twat and Scabby. Listen! Because there are protections in place, at least, for these kids who are acting. And don't forget, they're acting, they get to go home and live normal lives. What you do is stick a damn camera in your kids' faces every two seconds, whether they're laying around or shitting their diaper or whatever the case may be, and that goes on the internet. They're not acting. You're giving away the inside shit, where they sleep, everywhere you go, your favorite vacation spot, all of it. Their meltdowns, their periods. You give it all away. There's a huge difference. Plus, you have no, there are no laws in place where you have to pay your children. Zero. You can take every penny, and likely you do, to build your million dollar mansion, and you put that in the house. You don't put any money away for your kids. You don't have to. There's no law saying you do. There's a huge effing difference. But both, yes, I agree, are wrong. Any exploitation of children. Anybody who uses their kids to pay their bills can get Good Everyone is entitled to their opinions. That's what he feels, and this is what we feel we like to show our family, and we like to show what we're doing. And there are a few things... He's trying to be a peacemaker. Cheers, bro. ...is that we will never show. And there are lots of things that you guys don't know. We basically... Oh, but you're so real. ...just share the These stuff that we fun, feel are fun. And in our life. We and like, guess yeah. what? We film one video a week, a few hours out of our week. Oh, okay, and- you're so, so much better than everybody. Yeah. We have six other days. That's in the bingo card too. We only filmed 20 seconds of our day. In the week oh my God. Being with our kids. Like that's what we do. Don't know what else. We know that's what you do. And clearly you don't clean. Say about Where are your kids now? Are you supposed to be with your kids? Where are they? That, but that guy, I feel bad for him because he's definitely got some, some stuff. I don't feel bad for me. I literally get paid a lot of money to call you out. Not only do I get to sit here and be passionate about something, which is the exploitation of children online, okay? I have an argument that's irrefutable, which is a really great place to be, okay? I'm a dad, I'm an adopted dad. I see it all, and I get paid a lot of money to do it, okay? Don't feel sorry for me. I have a great life. And so they do this, they're like, I'm praying for you. That's what they do, right? I promise you I'm doing okay. Everybody here who watches this with me, you're all on the same page as me as far as it comes to exploitation of children. That's all we really care about. I wouldn't even have to do these videos if you assholes wouldn't exploit your damn children. Don't feel bad for me. I feel bad for you because your kids are going to suffer one day. So I don't hate you guys. I honestly think you love your children. But if you did, you would prove it by giving them privacy and keeping them safe. And you know it's dangerous because you guys have hang-ups about it all. You say, you know, we battle back and forth about it. We know it's dangerous. And yet you still do. You've admitted how bad it is and you still do it. You're just angry you have nothing to say for it. You're just angry you're f***ing wrong. That's not humility. Joseph Smith would not be proud of you. I just don't like people that tear other people down for yeah. fun. Yeah. Like, like, you just called me a douche. Uh, okay. That's the pot calling the kettle hey hair. <laughs> and he's tearing people down I, for you. You just tore me down, lady. You forgot to mention how bald I was. I live in my mom's basement. You forgot those ones, though. They could have taken the complete high road here. They would have had anything to say except for when she called me a douche. She just, she went down to my level. I guess the bottom line is we just wanted to make people happy with our family content. Like, that's it. Yeah, predators. You make predators happy. So, congrats. Love that people are happy. We love that people want to know what we're up to, how our kids are doing. Like, it's so nice. And the people... You don't find that weird? We just love that people want to know where we are, how we're doing our life, everything goes on. Strangers on the internet. We're so happy for that. This guy is hearing her, and he's like, oh my God, the way when you say it like that, shit. <laughs> 95% of the people that are on our social platforms are amazing and yeah. so sweet. So and like, fun. Yeah, okay. it's just a great community. That's everybody's platforms. Wanker. Anyway, I know we kind of went off on that, but that... No, no, you didn't... You were pretty constrained. <laughs> This guy doesn't want the, the smoke. She wants all the smoke. That's fine. I can respect that. But douche, I mean, dude, you're just as bad as her. I get it. You're nicer than her, but you're just as bad. You're an asshole. Is something you want to do? Oh, are you threatening me? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? Just kidding. Okay. First of all, okay. Second of all, if this guy wants to go for a boxing match, every, all the YouTubers are doing it. I promise you this. If you can beat me in a boxing match, 
I will stop talking about your family. I'll I'd have to lose about 100 pounds to get your weight class. And I think it's fair for us. To so I know she thinks she's kidding, but she's already called me a douche in this thing. And then she went like this, which is a threat of violence. Okay. I would never threaten any of these people with violence. If I saw them in public, I would never even approach them. I'm not that type of person. I would never hurt anybody physically. But she's so upset that she's doing, I'm just kidding. Why would you kid then? Why joke? You are upset. Don't threaten violence to anybody. Just don't do it. It's not cool. And this, maybe that's where you got the fat lip. To address it. It wasn't so much that like the video was about that. We get that all the time. Yeah. Like, like from who? Like that comment, like we get you're exploiting that. your children. Is, we get that all the that time. That wasn't the first. That's because it's true. And I think every single family vlogger gets that. Extra. It's just because it's true. The uh, extra that he's so rude. I'm uh, like, this just, guy needs to calm down. Anyway, we got to go get our kids. Yeah. They're with grandma right now. And maybe you should have been cleaning instead of calling me a douche, dumbass. We're going to go have fun and enjoy the rest of this And we're night. turning the camera off. Camera is going Oh, yeah. Seriously, to all of you guys that Congrats. appreciate this, that love the channel, we're, we're stoked that you're here. And it really oh, is man. fun for us to kind of relate with you guys on several things. The mess. All right, Walmart, Ken, shut your pile. All right. So there we go. I'm glad I blind reacted to that because remember Shannon Rose did threaten violence to me? Like I get every, I wouldn't even jokingly threaten violence on anybody, okay? I just wouldn't do it because my haters would take that very, very seriously. Like, oh my God, call the FBI and this guy. I would never do it anyway because I'm not that type of person. The only way I would ever get physical with somebody is if someone got in my grill or threatened my family to some degree. Like don't ever do that. So I'm telling you, it's never happened, but I promise you it's not gonna end good for you. Don't threaten violence ever on YouTube. It's never, it's never safe. I would never ever do that to anybody. Again, I will reiterate this because maybe they didn't hear this part before, but now they're listening. I would never threaten violence on anybody ever. And you shouldn't either, even if you think it's a joke, because there are people who want to see me die. I posted one of my thing today. Somebody wants my dick cut off. Okay. So there are lots of people out there being violent. If you have a million subscribers on your channel, do you think that you're going to mobilize some of them against me? That's fine stand up for myself but don't ever do that okay just don't do it if you want to call me out cool and you're, you're upset at me for calling you hey hair then you call me douche in the same sentence you're just as bad as i am and now the gloves are off so i hope you enjoy the weekly video i'm about doing you assholes and your brother and sister too they deserve it too don't do it do not threaten violence for people i'm sorry especially if you have a big following because that could actually enable one of these crazy ass people that love you that you say love you, have a parasocial relationship with you, to be like, I'm gonna go find this guy. That's what I'm saying. They did this to mobilize their fans after me. Okay, that's what they did that for. And she did that on purpose. Just so you know. And I'm Canadian, I know how to play hockey. All right, everybody take a deep breath. We needed that one. So that's fun. These people are a-holes. But you are not a-holes. You're amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. Don't ever fly Flair American Airlines. And don't watch this bullshit. Okay, they don't deserve you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.